Hello guys, MC Boxing here. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. So I'm just going on boxing scene um, and I just came across this article. It says Tyson Fury vows to spank Deontay Wilder all over Las Vegas. Um, as you all know, Tyson Fury made his comeback in June against uh, Albanian heavyweight Sefer Seferi. And um, now he would be fighting... I believe this uh, weekend against Francesco Pianetta. Pianetta has been in there with the likes of Vladimir Klitschko. But obviously, this is a washed up version of Pianetta. Pianetta has not been active for about a year now, I believe. Uh, I might be wrong, but um, yeah, uh, it's a washed up. I've seen Pianetta on the pods. He's really slow. So obviously, we're not expecting any resistance from him. It will be more of a... Tyson trying to show off their skills and stuff like that. I also read an article about Tyson saying he's great, he's trying to show uh, Sugar Ray Leonard kind of skills against Safari. So that kind of shows you where the mindset is for this fight. But obviously, there's a uh, hugely anticipated fight against Deontay Wilder, um, which will be coming up in November. Um, and Tyson says he vows to spank Deontay Wilder all over Las Vegas. So, um, basically, this is what he just has. He says, whether I'm ready or not, I'm doing this fight with Wada for British boxing to take the shame away from it because we've got an idiot who chiseled out of stone who's afraid of his own shadow. He said when speaking to the Telegraph, um, he wouldn't take the Wada fight and has made British box boxing a laughing stock. Now, in this version, we're going to assume he's talking about Anthony Joshua. He says, if he's a fighting man, he should have taken the fight. He didn't so, so I have to step in. I'm not afraid to fight any man in the backyard. Fury Doe must get past Pianetta. Um, yeah, so he says here, um, I'm going to spank, knock Pianetta out, then I'm going to Las Vegas and I'll spank Wada all over it. He's a dosser who's, fought, who's never fought anybody. And that's probably a little bit wrong. I mean, he's fought Ortiz, Ortiz, yeah, whatever. Ortiz washed up past his prime. But yeah, altogether, it's probably not really for anyone. Uh, what do I think about this? Obviously, it's the trash talk um, that you expect from both parties. Um, obviously, famously, after um, I think Wilder fought Spoka, that's when you had this face-off uh, between Fury and um, Wilder. I think uh, that was after shortly after Fury won against Vladimir Klitschko. So he went to his backyard and, you know, he stood across in the ring and, you know, just the, the talk, the trash talk and all that stuff. So, you know what, for the for the box, boxing, I'm really excited if this fight does take place. I think it's a good fight for boxing. I think um, it'll be a great fight while it lasts. The, I'm definitely looking forward to the press conferences between these two because that would be absolutely... Uh, it will be comedy gold. I think they're both going to gold each other. Um, what I don't really support here is this. If you're not going to get in the ring with someone, in this case, Anthony Joshua, there, there's no point in trash talking. But there, all, there seems to be a reason from both parties to always include Joshua's name, um, even though he's not, it doesn't have anything to do with this fight. I mean, if you both are fighting, I'm just going to assume you both just include yourselves in it. You don't have to talk about someone else. But um, um, I don't think they both can help it. <laughs> do I think Wilder is going to uh, knock out the, um, uh, Fury or do I think Fury is going to spank out um, Wilder all over Las Vegas? That's left for us to see. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Uh, let me know if you believe uh, Fury has a chance. And how do you see Fury's chances against Wilder? Do you think that after his fight against Safari and after just facing a journeyman, really, in Francesco Pianetta, he's able to step up with Wilder? And does Fury taking the Wilder fight show the mindset of Tyson Fury in terms of does he think... Deontay Wilder is a weak opponent and he can take advantage of um, him lacking boxing skills and he believes he can box his way to a decision and then that sets up of a big showdown against Anthony Joshua. So does he see Wilder as a weak point? And also it could also be, be said the same for Deontay Wilder. Does Deontay Wilder see Tyson Fury 
as a weak opponent. I mean, does he think because Tyson is coming off from a two-year layoff um, that he's able to take advantage of uh, Tyson not being back to his best? And does he think that Tyson would not be able to withstand his power? Um, all this is um, we're yet to see. Now, one thing we can definitely say for sure is that Deontay Wilder has shown a history of being extremely low volume and very very low volume and also gain a bo our box when he's come up against the light likes of Ortiz, um, Kelvin Price, uh, Gerald Washington, um, Otto Spoka. And if you put all of this together, Ortiz is a very good boxer. Tyson Fury is probably even, uh, a very good boxer. Spoka was kind of had an awkward style. Fury is an awkward kind of fighter. Um, and unorthodox. Uh, Gerald Washington was a taller, kind of rangy opponent. And you could also see Wilder struggled with the rangy opponent as well. So, would that mean, and Fury also is what, 6'9, has a longer reach. So, would Wilder be able to cope with all of those? So, this is like a combination of all those things that he really struggled with and just putting them all together in Tyson Fury. Now, the only thing I'll say about Fury is to what could potentially make this fight a uh, difficult one for him is is if fury has his sharpness and his reflexes back because most of tyson's boxing is relies on you know him being a slick mover and stuff like that and then against safari he didn't really show any of that so um what do you expect but all of this is still like um uh speculation really the fight is not signed i'm going to do a separate video on that but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button. It's MC Boxing and I'm out. Catch you in the next video.